Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Hope After the Landslide. I am already just going to apologize because there's a lot of little snickering laughs in the background because I think it's nervous, <laughs> nervous jitters. Um, this is Jackie Van Work. I'm founder of Grieving Moms Finding Hope, and tonight we have some special guests with, a, with an S, and this would be the Hope After the Landslide, the search and rescue team part of the search and rescue team, and they've all volunteered to be able to share tonight about what God has done in their lives through my particular landslide that they have walked pretty much linked arms with me. And hi, Mary, I'm gonna say hi, and hi, Allison, and hi, Kathy. Uh, I'm gonna say hi to people in between here, but I just wanted to first of all say thank you to each and every one of them. I have no idea what they're gonna say. Uh, I did give them a little bit of a heads up, but they, again, agreed to share what God has done in their life through this. And tonight actually was a gathering because they're, um, well, we're, we're having a little goodbye, a little get together, but it's not forever because, of course, you've heard that I'm moving to Bend, Oregon, and God has led me in such amazing, amazing ways, and you can't make this stuff up. So, but we decided that since we're all here, why not uh, give them a little bit of the opportunity to shine uh, what God has done in their lives? And without further ado, this lady that is to my to my right is going to share first. This is Jane, and I'm not going to steal her thunder, but you might want to really thank her. Right, Jane? Uh, no, thank God. Don't thank me. Okay, uh, but you were obedient to God. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I happened to be in a ministry, our small group uh, minister, um, a human traffic uh, a girl that um, she uh, has a publisher that uh, also Christian uh, lady that um, wanted to write her story. So we uh, our small group has been uh, really uh, helping her uh, for a long time. So when um, Jackie's uh, um, uh, landslide come and I just, know that Jackie's always very, very, very good to uh, in writing and uh, um, her story can help with lots of uh, uh, other mom. So I just asked her that, do you have a publisher? She just said, out of the blue. Yeah. Uh -huh. And she said, nope, <laughs> you have one. <laughs> I said, yes, I have a no one. And so I connected Jackie with Sherry. Wow. And uh, everything so, um, Jackie has uh, got her book uh, published. It that's and, right uh, to help yeah. many mom. It's yeah. not a pamphlet. Yeah. The church body, the church <laughs> body of Christ. And let me let me also what I did mention was these fine people here. Not only were my small group and my search and rescue, we we actually counsel counselors at Saddleback Church, lay counselors, and they just um, I didn't like appoint them or volunteer them. They just automatically became the search and rescue team. But yeah, that was one evening we were in there it's in our supervision group. We're talking and she said, yeah, do you have a publisher? And I'm like, uh, no. <laughs> and so, yes, Sherry Ward is the co-author of the uh, the book Resurfacing that gets the moms through. And because of Jane's obedience and her love of Christ and her willingness to be able to uh, pay forward what she knew. And I believe that Sherry is also working with your friend, Sherry. Yes. 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 And yeah. writing her book as yeah. well. Their book will be published in November. Yeah, yes, yeah, yes. so amazing. So, so what, what significant things, Jane, if anything, and I don't want to put you on the spot, but I did give you guys the question ahead of time, uh, but that you feel that God has uh, done in your life through this process, or anything that you, that you have seen? I just learned that we just have to show up, and uh, it's very hard to say anything, but um, to just, you know, kind of really uh, be there for Jackie and uh, be there for their family, just love her and uh, just, you know, um, just just be there. Yeah, I think just it's, be yeah, there. Yeah. And then the, just to think out of box, whatever that uh, the resources that we can uh, offer and to help and uh, just connect them. And I think that's all about uh, connecting people to. Yes. Amen yeah. to that. Yeah, yeah and, and honestly, a lot of people don't know what to say in the midst of someone's landslide, and sometimes you don't need to say anything. Like you said, you just show up, yes. and you just start You just start doing you know, whatever you feel God puts on your heart. In fact, in addition to that, uh, it was also Jane that you were able to keep my stomach full and my family's because you arranged that uh, the whole meal thing that, and gave us the idea for that. And that was really huge because you're not thinking about cooking, as you ladies know. Before we go on to uh, Miss Anna sitting there, I want to say hi to Juanita 
and Mary West and all of you that are out there and all of you that will be on here later watching. I know some of you can't be on here live watching at the moment, but I just want to thank you for being here and, and also for having hope to continue on after your landslide has hit. And please put in there, I see some of you have already done that, where you're viewing from, because we'd love to know that. And if you have any questions or comments that you want to put in there, I do my best to get back to you um, after this whole broadcast is over. So continuing on with my awesome search and rescue team, may I introduce this lady, Miss Anna, who uh, she and I had each other at pepperoni rolls because we uh, were mountain biking together. And uh, you know what you guys are doing, actually? When you go on a plane and you're going to jump out of a plane, what happens is the person just that jumps out, like, you just keeps scooting down, right? Do you feel okay. like you just jumped out of a plane right now? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no. Like, you're next to jump out of the plane, Anna. With I'm going to catch you. With you, who knows what I'll be doing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm sure there's a plane involved and snakes and tigers and but bears. But, you know, 20 years later, Anna and I have been friends through mountain biking and somehow or another, when I look back, Anna's right there. She's yeah. She's been right there, and we've gone through numbers of things, not just this landslide. We've gone through her landslides, and she has been a very um, true friend, dear friend, and actually got me into this counseling ministry, which I have to thank her also because now I have all these amazing friends. Some of them are not getting on, just by the way. But that's okay. <laughs> we love them anyway. Some of them lost their voice, actually, and that's not – that's serious. Like, not kidding. Had They lost their voice, and it wasn't because I scared them. <laughs> anyway, so Anna, how are you, Anna? I'm great. Aren't you glad I gave you the oh, question ahead yeah. of time? You did, but then I forgot the question. I had to be reminded. So. But I know you have the <laughs> gift to be able to share. So, Amen. Yeah. So, oh gosh. Well, here we start. I've been friends for a long time with Jackie, and she's always been the strong one of the friendship, where I've been a hurting mom for a long time, and I've always had Jackie by my side. Hopefully I don't lose it here. <laughs> you never lose it. So um, she's always been there. She's always been behind me in the bike ride. She's always been in front of me in the rainstorm so I don't slide down a slippery slope. That's so, a true story. Yes, a true story. <laughs> <laughs> she's when I broke my arm. She's the one that pulled up and top of Mammoth and took me to the emergency room. So she's always been there for me. So I felt guilty because I drug you into it. That's okay, but you took me to the you emergency room. You yeah. drugged her? I, I, I yeah, drugged yeah. her. No, I said I drugged her into it. <laughs> so no, we were on top of a mountain, with, and within 30 minutes, Jackie had, Jackie had me in an emergency room. I still don't know how she did it. I still don't. I don't know how she got down that hill and got me in the emergency room. But she's always been. Before you became conscious and I heard it from yeah. you. <laughs> so she's always been my warrior. So when she had the landslide, it was a switch. It was a complete switch for me, and it was like, how how do I even handle this? She's she's a strong one of us, and I learned how to step up. And I got so close to the Lord, even closer to the Lord, because He just told me just be there, just just be still, be there for her. <clears throat> and that's hard because I'm an Italian, so being still <laughs> and not talking is very difficult. <laughs> so just just show up. And that's what I did. I just remained her friend, showed up. Was Anytime she needed something, I was there. And I prayed and prayed for her to get through her landslide. And um, just I put it at the cross. And I, the Lord gave me peace. And I just, through prayer and peace, I was able to um, surrender it. And I surrendered it. And then God gave me the peace and the strength to be on her search and rescue team. So, and be a hurting mom at the same time. Yeah. So with that... Yeah, so that's just some it's of the... Like, it's one of those friendships, and, and actually all of you guys, and, and I just know Anna longer, but some of these friendships, it's like you know who your real friends are when you know most people will just walk out because they don't know how to handle it. And that's okay, you know, that's okay because God assigned people, you know, ahead of time to know who is going to be there. And, you know, I always say don't get angry with people that, you know, just seem to, you know, I know that it's hurtful, but those people that walk away they're just not supposed to be part of that search and rescue team and anna you've said before because they're not there doesn't mean that they're not praying for you right right i mean you don't know that they're not praying for right. you so don't don't look at it from a standpoint of taking it personally right, right. yeah and we can't be judgmental of others because we don't know what they're going through and they could be going through a hard time themselves and they're just sitting back and praying for you and that's okay so we just we just take it with 
with what we can. But and and if you're praying and you're getting close to the Lord, He'll give you the peace and understanding and wisdom to get through this, and that's key. Yeah, that's and key. He showed up and He's shown off, and I have to say that all of a sudden, in it's been January fifteenth, two thousand and sixteen, which seems like it was sometimes only yesterday, and I know it is for some of you actually has or could have been even yesterday or last week. But I just want you to know that it is, um, it's it's just when we've heard our pastor say, when you're going through hell, you just keep going. And it's much better for you to reach out to other people and just say, I need in the midst of everything. You know, I even if you just say, I need a hug, I need you to make a dinner because people don't know what to do. They for sure don't know what to say. But if they say, can I offer you this or that, you know, just tell them yes, because that blesses them at the same time, right? And and by the way, yeah, because Anna did. She brought me these amazing pepperoni rolls. Yeah, she she and, and these I, cookies. Have... She likes she likes chocolate chip cookies with walnuts. If yes, anybody has anybody... chocolate chip cookies with anybody... walnuts. <laughs> <laughs> it's my weakness. It, it <laughs> certainly is dark chocolate. <laughs> yes, dark chocolate. You know, someone being specific. Well, and she's tried to make them healthy, but that didn't turn out so well. Yeah, so we stuck difficult. to the we stuck to the junk. Yeah. So, but but honestly, I see so many of you on here that are at a place where you don't have that hope. And I want to ask you, you know, have you, have you surrendered this over at the foot of the cross? Have you said at this point, are you ready to say, what do you want me to do with this, God? Now, if it's recent, you may not be able to say that. You're saying, why? Why did this have to happen? And we may never know why this has happened. But I can tell you that, you know, from the time that this has happened and watching God's hand in every single thing in my life, and just bringing the the loving people that are sitting in this room surrounding me right now, it just really shows that there is a God that's loving. He didn't leave you. He didn't leave you. If anything, we we walked away from him, and that's understandable. He's not going to get mad at you for that. He knows that you're going to scream and yell and ask why why did you know this baby of ours that we brought into this world why why did this have to be in our future? Because this is not the way it's supposed to be. So, I, ladies, I I feel your pain. I know your pain. I wish that I could just take it away. But the reason that we do this, especially this uh, Hope After the Landslide, is primarily because we want to link arms with you. We want you to have other moms that understand and have that same language, and no one else is going to be able to understand that. And, you know, these ladies that are in this room right now, the, this search and rescue team, you know, again, they may not have, you know, felt that pain and understood it, and I pray they never do. But at the same time, they were just willing to say, <laughs> I'm in. I'll, I, I will show up, and I'm so forever thankful. Yep. If anybody else wants to jump out of the plane, they can move over here at oh, any yeah, time yeah, while here, we're talking. Come on, you want to, yeah. Take the co-pilot seat. That's my cowgirl. That's my cowgirl friend, Miss Colleen. I love you, Jackie. I, love you too, I can't believe you're leaving. I know. I know. But, but I'm not. It's not forever. In your landslide, I got a phone call from Anna saying. We're going to go and build a prayer garden. Hmm. And I'm like, oh, I'm so in for that. Yes. And then the day came, and it was 90 degrees. And we're <laughs> digging up rocks. <laughs> rocks. It's like, rocks. This is the very last thing in that the whole world. I would, I would rather stick needles in my eyes. <laughs> Honestly. I believe it. But when I got there, and the love that was there, and all the women working hard together and cracking up and laughing and and the tire swing, which was <laughs> unbelievably fun. We had so much fun and God was there. God showed up and he, he made a really hard job super fun yeah. and super easy. And I think we really dirty. bonded at that yeah, time. We did. We yeah. really did. <laughs> I mean, how can you not bond when you're picking up rocks and, and throwing things? And, and Colleen has a love for horses like I do. <laughs> And we would have loved to have gotten to ride more, but you know, life takes us different places. But boy, when we get out on, on trail on these horses, it is definitely a part of, of our therapy. But I am so thankful that you showed up in the hot heat and the rocks and the <laughs> And I actually, never she admitted to her till this time. She, that I, I know. That was I the know, very last is, thing. I mean, I this is really <laughs> amazing. And I want you to know my son made a tire swing and we were swinging on it and she fell off. I did fall off. She she fell right off. On my bum. She did. She fell yep. off and she was laughing. And I think we have it recorded. We can we can show that later. No, but, uh, we don't really need to show that. <laughs> but you see that friends can put this landslide aside for a little bit and make me laugh. 
you know, yeah. despite everything, even if it's at the expense of people falling and hurting themselves. <laughs> but I'm just so grateful for, um, in fact, oh, that you're here tonight. I'll try. She's going to try. And, and, and oh, Cynthia. <laughs> oh, Cynthia. My dear Cynthia. Another one of my rocks here. I'm my grandma. The group. Yes. No, she's not. And no, she is going to be like your favorite, like most sarcastic. <laughs> did I say that? I'm going to be nice. You're going to be nice. I'm going to be nice. Yes. So, Cynthia, so what do I'm you have try to say? Nice. <laughs> try, try. <laughs> okay. Um, listening to all the other ladies, and I think one of the most important things I was thinking about is you only get well in community. Mm. Um, mm. I lost my mom from suicide and I had no community hmm. and 30 years later I got community and that's when I got better. Yeah. That's a long time to carry um, that Excellent. kind of weight. So even though you may not be a community type person, your community can be two or three people. It doesn't have to be a whole bunch of people, but you really, honestly, I don't know how to get to convince you. You do get better with other people around you, people who have had the same experience, a similar experience, or just have that empathy for the pain, um, the day, not even day to day, the moment to moment that you are trying to get through. Mm -hmm. um, you start out moment to moment, pretty soon it's minute to minute, and slowly, slowly that time increases. And in the beginning, you may feel hopeless, but I, I can guarantee you, I can guarantee you. That's pretty big hope. for you to say that. I know. There is hope. Yeah. And I have, I've lived a long time. Oh, God. <laughs> um, so I've been through a lot of stuff. 30 years, though. And, um, but yeah, I'm, I, there's hope. So Cynthia is saying pretty much that, you know, maybe she didn't have that, desire to want it to be in community, but the moment that she did, uh, it just opened up so much for her because you do, you need, you can't isolate. How many times have you heard me say that? Every time we had this hope after the landslide, don't isolate, right, Cynthia? And that's the first thing you want to do because you just want to pull inside yourself and you just want to just yeah. die. Yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, it's very, very healing if you can just let yourself let one person in, second person in, someone to pray for you, someone who bring you a dinner, um, someone who just shows up and sits there while you do whatever it is, yeah. the million things that you have to do. Because I know that when I lost my mom, I kind of, my brain kind of exploded and I was like, like all over the place. And, um, and I didn't have anybody to just go, well, Psalm 4610, just be still. Mm -hmm. Be still and know that I am right. God. Yeah. So yeah. you were talking about how hard it is to surrender sometimes. Yeah. And that's key. That's key yeah, to be able to. to go, okay. <clears throat> yeah. You're going to take it back a bunch of times, but yeah. you know, for sure. You still for sure. can go through it as many times as you need to. And nobody's going to make you do it tomorrow or I mean Cynthia took 30 years and, and and that's okay I'm sure that you know that was that was the amount of time maybe it seems like well Moses was in the desert for 40 years so I mean who's judging right so at the end of the day oh, so but uh, <laughs> but I, I I know that I've seen the moms in this group on the zoom calls and I will say it every time I am blown away by the length of time that they have been grieving and not connecting and saying where has this group been you know, we have our grief support and they're all beautiful. They're not specific. They're all generalized and that's, that's wonderful. But at the end of the day, again, we have checked the most, like the check mark that we never wanted to check, which is like losing a child. And no one else is going to understand that. And we no, always and it's like every parent's nightmare. It's every parent's nightmare. We don't want to outlive our children. Yeah. That's not the way. It's not the way it's supposed to be. No. Um, but for, all of us here it, it is and, and I mean Cynthia has gone through you know her mom took her life and then Cynthia took that pain and then she was leading survivors of suicide at Saddleback Church and uh, we got also connected there so it's been just a, a 
community, the church family, the bonding, the laughing. There's the an overlap. There's an overlap. There's a sarcasm that I love the sarcasm always. And if you want to know how to get into a group to be a part of the Grieving Moms community, there's the link at the very top. And I sound like a commercial, but I, I, didn't, tell, I didn't tell her to say that. She said it for me, so thank you for saying that, because community is community. There's no other way around it. I just call them as I see them. Yeah, she does, we're and trust me, together. she will. we are better together, <laughs> and sometimes we, we tell her, like, you know what, we're not so good with you always together. We Sometimes we need her to take a bow out, but, you know, we love her, because honestly, in the that's, midst... That's the message for me to go on. <laughs> In, in our in our supervision group, we, we talk about some very heavy situations. And if we didn't have the humor, I don't know what we would do without it. So I know God orchestrated this group for a specific, specific reason. And I am already grieving um, not being able to be around them. Now who's going to cry? Anyway, we're on live, and that sometimes happens. So uh, hi, Susan, and hi, Carrie, and Darcy, and Kathy's on there. And Renee, and my husband's on there, another Colleen, Darnell, Kathleen. There's so many of you on here that I would love love to personally meet, those that I haven't met. Um, I just know that I've got um, some amazing food that I'm smelling in the other room, and they're anxious to get to it. So I'm uh, thanking all of my beautiful friends for being on the Facebook Live. And um, I love you guys, and you will get through it. It's like Cynthia said, there is hope. Don't, don't give up. Don't give up because... He's a good, good father. And I have just recently seen him, like I feel like I'm drinking out of a fire hose with so many blessings. And it's because I surrendered. I surrendered what was supposed to be next, asking him, what do you want me to do with this? And I have had the humbling privilege to be able to be here with you. And so as long as I live, I want to continue to be here unless he takes me in another direction. And um, But just don't give up. Hi, Jeannie. So God bless you guys. I will look forward to seeing you next uh, Tuesday, same time, same bat channel, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And we're leaving a little early, but again, the smell of the food, just I can't. I've got to I've got to end it. But again, click on the link above to be able to get into a group. You guys don't wait. Stop isolating. It doesn't serve you well. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye.